Hi, everyone. My name is Karen Breidert. And on behalf of the Education Direction Committee, it is my pleasure to introduce this next installment for Travel in Tune. This presentation comes to us from Region 32, the Nordic Light Region. Region 32 is composed of Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Finland. What a beautiful part of our world. And I know we wish we were all there right now together, but instead, some talented members from Region 32 have put together a great presentation for us. You're going to participate in some excellent physical warm-ups, some very useful vocal warm-ups. You're going to hear about musical artistry with demonstrations and so much more. I feel stronger and healthier just having watched this presentation and participated with them. Hey, maybe I'm a little Nordic after all. I know you're going to enjoy it too. So thank you Region 32 for the fun and the education, for taking us to your beautiful part of the world and helping us travel in tune. Sweet Airlines, welcome to a warm-up session from beautiful summer Sweden. This is Annika and my name is Susanna. We'll get started with posture. So stand up straight, feet somewhat apart, tuck in pelvis and shoulders relaxed. Okay, let's start with an exercise that could help posture. We call it ITEL. It's the letters Y, T, E and L. So just follow me. We'll start with a Y. Put your arms up like a Y. This is like YMCA, you know. And push back. Remember to breathe. And breathe. <laughs> we turn into a T. This is the letter T, and push back, and breathe, feels good, turning this into an E, with the help of your head, and push back, and breathe, and finally, we'll do the one arm here and one arm here from the waist and push back and if you know it breathe push back and relax ah, so that's a really good exercise to keep your posture proud okay so let's release some body tension and tension perhaps in our cords. We will do the Danish bounce. So the Danish bounce goes like this. You put your weight on your heels. They're doing the job. So just start bouncing like this. Try to relax your body. Your arms just hanging there. And your heels have all the weight. Try to relax your jaw, your face, everything. And then, while doing this, let your cords join like this. So the important thing here is that it is your heels doing the job. The cords are just following. Good. Feels kind of 
of strange, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's good. It is good. So good. Let's focus on our breath support. We'll start with the lower pelvis muscles. So we will just use them. Quite difficult to see, but use, use your flexed knees and your hands to help the exercise like this. Release. 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 Good. Good. Put your hands in your waist. We'll use the letter T like this. that your elbows are quite jumping when you're doing this. Because then you found your muscles here. And the last one. Good. Take your hands, move them up here, around the, the rib cage. Exhale. Inhale. And hold it, hold it. Feel the inner costals between your ribs, just stretching. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And now inhale some more, focusing on lowering your diaphragm. Inhale some more and widen here. Inhale some more and widen here. And some more and widen back here. Hold it. Hold it. And relax. <laughs> and we'll do it one more time. So exhale. And inhale. Inhale some more and lower the diaphragm. One more time, widen here, and here, and back here, and hold it, hold it, and relax. <sighs> Great. Okay, ready for some cord work. Let these cords start working with a bubbly sound like this. Okay, so just follow me. Yes. Yep. is really wide and open like this.
Bom. Mo. Bom. Mo. Bom. Mo. B. Mo. B. Good. I think we're ready to sing now. Oh, Over great. to you. Thank you so much, Susanna. Now it's time for some singing exercises. So please just join me. register so it goes like people uh, be I think that's ah. yep. looking forward to meeting you in the near future and please take care stay safe and have a beautiful and great summer hey do hey do brudar alla Hi, my name is Sofia Foyer and I'm the director of Malmö Limelight's Chorus in the very south of Sweden and a Nordic Light region. I'm a firm believer in playful learning no matter your age. So today, me and members of Malmö Limelight Chorus will show you a rhythmical exercise uh, that practices your teamwork, your sense of pulse, memory, focus, and it's so much fun. It's called Pass the Beat Around the Room. Each word, each syllable in the sentence is, uh, represents a beat. 
and the sentence moves over two bars of 4-4 four, four, and then it loops. The last beat is a break and we mark that by tapping our shoulders like this. Uh, the sentence will wander from person to person around the ring and to increase difficulty I will speed up the tempo gradually. Once you miss your beat or you come in off beat, you're out and you'll have to sit down. But we didn't have any chairs as you can see in the video, so instead the singers turn around if they miss. However, you're still in the circle and you still represent a beat, but the beat will be silent. As more and more people turn around, you'll really have to focus to keep your inner beat going to not miss your turn. So let's take a look. Okay, how many are we? Four. 
four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it starts with me this time. Okay, one, two, three, four, pass. The. The. Round. Pass. Pass. Uh. Room. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. You did great. This is saying that we have three winners. Yay! As you can see, people are really having fun with this one. Now, if you want to take it a bit further and really challenge your group, you can add two more elements to this exercise. Turn and jump. I will call out these words on a beat and that will affect the next beat. When I call out turn, we will switch directions on the next beat. When I call out jump, the following person will be skipped over and the next person after that We'll say the next word in the sentence. Let's have a look at us trying this. Pass the beat around the room. Pass the turn around the room. Pass the beat turn around the room. Pass turn beat around the room. Pass turn. Beat around the room. Past the turn around the room. Pass the beat around the room. Pass the beat around the room. Pass the beat turn around the room. Pass the beat around the room. Turn. Beat around the room. Pass the beat turn round the room. Pass turn beat around the room. Pass the beat turn the room. Pass the beat around the room. Pass the beat around the room. Jump, beat around the drum. Pass the beat, jump around the room. Pass the beat. Pass the beat, jump around the room. Pass the beat, jump around the room. Jump. Pass the beat. Around the room. Jump the beat around the room. Jump. I hope you had as much fun with this as we did and that you will try this out with your chorus. Take care and see you out there.
Det är mycket med kroppar. Please do, please do, please do. Vasa gör det ni fick i uppgift att göra nu och så är det bara tonerna som kör i från tack eller från Bertil. Mm. Mm. Där börjar ni bara toner. En, två, tre. Det var någon som glömde andningen i tack 20. Annars var det fantastiskt bra och så någon som var lite för på jul. Vad säger vi Annika? Nej men det där tyckte jag att jag var mm. nöjd med. Jättebra. Jag tyckte det var jättesnyggt. Jag har precis hittat den där klangen och en jättefin placering av bluet. Jättesnyggt. Nu kör vi till tenorer. Mm. Där börjar ni börja tenorer. En, två, tre. Det som man kan lägga till, ni har ju ganska mycket hopp där ni går från lågt till högt ganska snabbt. Försök att hitta snygga bågar mellan de där, för det blir lite plockande av toner. Jag förstår att det är kanske svårt att stå med hörlurar och så, men hitta resonansen och använd dig av kroppen för att verkligen bygga de där bågarna. Det kan ni, det vet jag. Jättesnygg och snyggt när det är där uppe och ja. den här uppgången ni gör, den gör det så lugnt och fint. Det fick ja. vi nämligen av Rasmus att göra den lite lugnare, mycket bra. Då tar vi lidarna. Ni anmjutar er och så börjar vi från samma ställe och så kommer ni ha en liten upptakt. Nu mm. börjar ni på. En, två, tre. I'm blinded by your presence in this woman that we're in. If God was to describe you, where would he begin? The colors blend together and you become the light. If only you could see the way you shine. Det enda tillägget jag skulle vilja göra där är att ni, siktar hela tiden, att ni hela tiden tänker på att sikta på den högsta tonen i frasen så att ni inte lägger för mycket kraft på de lägsta tonerna i fraserna utan är ganska smooth och fina på de lägre så att ni verkligen hittar spåret ända upp till den högsta. Nu kör vi gärna. Ja. Från samma ställe. Mm. En, två, tre. I'm
är det. Oh! Och det man kan tänka som vi inte sa nu, men det är när ni flyttar toner. Det sa Annika visserligen att det ska vara smooth. Och det är jätte... när, när ni har egna flytt, bariton har många egna flytt. Det har bas också och det har lid också. Att hela tiden tänka på flyttarna i spåret och göra något extra av det. Då kör vi från början helt enkelt. Allra första början. Är ni där? Har vi det? Bra. En, två, tre, fyra, en. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Tisina Leon and I'm the director of in Snowflake Singers. Hi, I'm Maria Westman and I'm the director of Westeros Show Chorus. And we are here today to talk a little bit about how our choruses has managed to sing with the tool Yamelus during the pandemic times. Uh, and uh, first of all, uh, uh, I want to pass the word to our uh, president, our team coordinator, Helene. Helene, how did we make this happen, really? Uh, with tenacity. Uh, I think it's a question of really wanting to sing and keep the community uh, within the chorus. And, and by doing this digitally and helping each other, helping the people that are a bit digitally shy, uh, we can make it work together and make everyone a part of the team. And what do you say, Caroline, then? Why me make this German list? Yeah, this is because to just to um, put together all the uh, members and so we can sing together. Yeah. yeah. Matilda, what do you think about it? Uh, I think it's a wonderful tool uh, to get the community back together, the, the chorus, uh, because it's been a difficult time. And, and, and I also heard a rumor that in Westeros, like we did in Snowflake, you really had hands on help to get the uh, members going. Yeah. Really, what did you do, Caroline? Yeah, we um, put up some like a group, uh, a member, a four person. It's like, we call it technic group, technical group. Yeah, technical group. Yeah, to help uh, other members. So, Sometimes we help them digitally, but sometimes we also go to their place and show them how to use it. Hmm. 
So it's really hands-on. So, so uh, Laila, uh, can you tell us a little bit, has there been any benefits of using this digital tool? What have we learned during this time? Uh, I think that we have learned to, to listen more to each other while singing. Uh, and of course, we have learned to use this uh, technical equipment. And uh, some of us maybe uh, now are a little bit better, like... Um, uh, sound te sound technique uh, skills uh, <laughs> than than before, um, and I also think that some of us uh, that might have been a little bit uncomfortable to sing out loud at home while there are other family members in the in the house. I think that uh, some of us have uh, developed on that uh, <laughs> on that part as well. Um, so overall, it's, I think it's been a, a wonderful tool uh, to, to have us uh, going uh, during this, this hard uh, pandemic time. Mm. So Maria, do you want to say something also then about the, the value for the course and so forth? Well, I, I think it's, I, I, I just say that this is, was something that saved our chorus being a chorus because it's uh, so hard not to feel this, uh, this group mentality and uh, hear voices that you recognize. And um, so I think it's very important. And as you say, uh, developing the technical um, things that have to, has to do with the thing with the metronome uh, and um, things like that that makes the sound, well, you have to listen and be the singer although yeah and you have to take the responsibility yeah. i would say also maria won't you that it's as a singer to to really take on and i i just want to add also that in in our course in some quick singers we we have decided already now that we will keep this as a tool in also in the future because we we believe that um, we can use this for a small uh, section uh, rehearsals and also people get together just for half an hour Sunday night and rehearse some uh, parts of a song or something. It's very convenient also. So I think uh, we were sort of forced into it, but in the end it was a very good experience and uh, we will keep on singing. Of course we will uh, come together soon also in real life, but uh, we will keep this also. Yeah. And we have done the same. We have taken a, a decision that this is something that's going to, to be in our, our chorus for a long time. Mm. Absolutely. What do you say, my friends? I, I definitely think that even though uh, some might say that this is the next best thing uh, to sing digitally instead of, of meeting up and singing together, I think it's, it's not just a the next best thing it's uh, it complements mm -hmm. the standing together on the risers because we practice other things like being confident in your own voice mm -hmm. and having to listen to your own voice deciding that i want to listen only to laila right now and sing with her and i can do that and no one else knows that Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it strengthens me as a singer as well. So I think it's a very good compliment that I'm, I'm so happy we're going to keep it. Yeah. Anyone else that wants to end with something? Um, I think that we, we also uh, have the benefit of uh, not having to uh, travel uh, to uh, different countries uh, while we have uh, coaches that can uh, they can participate from from where they are and they they do not have to fly all across the world um which is also an environmental benefit i think absolutely and i think we had to add uh, caroline and matilda uh, the fantastic sunday evenings will you please tell them about that so we have two rehearsals a week yeah, we make it like um, every Sunday for those who like to just jamming with us. So we, they all, all are welcome uh, jamming with us. So it's not only on our rehearsal time, ordinary time on Thursday. 
Mm. Well, we could talk about this for a long time, but I think uh, this is sort of a teaser uh, and, and some description about how we have used YAMLs in two courses in uh, Region 32. And with this, why not wave goodbye to all the viewers uh, and welcome to our region. It's fabulous. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Hi, I am Anna Rosenberg, and I'm a certified visual communication judge and a proud member of Region 32 Nordic Light Region. Today, we're going to talk about visual communication. Now, this is a shorter movie, so I'll be focusing on three keystones for building great visual performances. Musicality, unity, and stagecraft. Musicality and stagecraft because they are new in the visual communication category and unity because I believe that's very important for a strong visual presentation. Let's start with musicality. The description of musicality in the judging category description book says, authentic visual communication is an integral part of the musical performance. Musicality is achieved when the intent of the music is brought to life by the performance choices and the musical delivery. The essence of true musicality is the performer's ability to use emotional experiences and genuine theatrical abilities to perform in a way that pulls the audience into a magical experience. So, Musicality is the ability to understand a piece of music and to make the right visual, visual, visual choices to showcase that piece of music, that message, so someone else will understand it, the audience. In other words, musicality, it's building that invisible bridge between the performer and the audience. So when I watch great performances, that's what I believe they have. They have piece by piece built that bridge for me to get lost in their magic. Let's take a look at musicality. Well, how I really bonded with Barbara is because we both have stage fright. That's you that. have stage fright. Yeah. Gina Baker has yeah. stage fright. Yes, I, I think, do. I don't, I don't think so. Quit, it. Quit joking around. I do. Quit I joking do. around. You do not. I mean, what people see out here, you know, stage persona, the designated funny girl, the jokester. <laughs> but I guess that's because I rarely ever show the inside. Funny. Did you hear that? Funny. Yeah. The guy said, honey, you're a funny girl. Just keep them in still. 
that point in time when the opinions of others caused us to doubt our own worth. Speaking from personal experience, I know I have insecurities. I'm sure we all do. No matter how together we may seem. So the Rich Tones invite you, all of you, to cast away your self-doubt and celebrate the greatness that is you. just three of many Sweet Adeline's performances that demonstrates high musicality. The ability to understand music and to make the right visual choices to showcase the story and the song's message. Let's move on to unity. Just as individual voices come together and create harmony, the visual aspect must be presented in a unified fashion in order for communication to be successfully. Unity does not mean that we want clones on stage. We want to see variety and unique selves on stage. In the preparation phase, you can pay attention to unity such as costume, makeup, risers positions, choreography and staging to give focus on every tool is enhancing the total unity and increases a closer integration to the story and the message of the song. In the execution phase, the musical message will be more clear when the energy and the physical elements are being unified. Why is unity important? Well, audience connection is created when visual distractions are being eliminated. I want to focus on the message but if I see a visual distraction, I can't. The eye is pleased by symmetry and balance, but it does not need to be exactly the same to be pleased. You have a lot of choices when it comes to creating unity. Make the choices that feels the best for you, for your quartet or for your chorus. Thank you. 
Stagecraft. Stagecraft are all the theatrical tools to bring the music to life on stage. Stagecraft is the term which will serve as the umbrella for all the elements we use in visual communication. Under this falls choreography, costume, makeup, hairstyles, props, and non-singing moments. In addition, entrance break and exit and pitch pipe technique are now a subset of non-singing moments. And new tools added included staging, stage decoration, and lights. The only word on the score sheet now is stagecraft. So the visual communication judge doesn't have to comment on everything in stagecraft, just the ones that feels important for the performance. Let's take a little look at stagecraft. jungle. So many people walk these streets every day and yet we don't even stop to notice each other. What if we could stand in someone else's shoes for just one moment? It's not about the way you look or what you do as long as you are high, you have fun because you know we're here together in the world to never be never, never, never just one who's gonna sing. You can use as much or as little stagecraft as you want in your performances, just like you saw in these two examples. A true connection with an audience is made when the visual plan enhances all aspects of the performance and the singer's able to perform beyond the plan. And with those words, I thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing many more of great performances from you.